So while the machine is priming, we can go ahead and draw up our heparin. So since this is an open vial, we're going to swab the top of, with an alcohol swab. We're going to get a 20 mil syringe and attach a blunt tip needle. make sure the heparin comes out it's always good to put in the exact amount of air that you need that you're withdrawing heparin for your prescribed dose get out any air that is left in the syringe Dosage. Next, we're going to open our doors. Leaving the heparin line clamped, we're going to attach our syringe to the heparin line. Put the syringe up and put it into the heparin pump. Now, when you insert it, you want to make sure those wings are between the plastic and the metal holder. And then package of our bloodlines. We have a recirculation adapter which we want to keep and put on the top of the machine. These two pieces that come with the blood tubing we do not use and they are just discarded. Before we discard the packaging we might want to just take note of the lot number of the bloodlines just in case we run into any issues that we need to report to the company. We usually just put that on the recirculation adapter. So we're just waiting for the uh, priming of the saline and bloodlines to finish. So our T1 test is now complete. So now that it is complete, it's telling us to connect our dialyzer couplings. So before we connect our couplings, we're going to want to flip and rotate the dialyzer, get any air out. So when we do this, you go red to red. right side up. Okay. So we can go ahead and start programming our treatment parameters. We're going to go ahead and program in a four hour treatment. And our rinse volume has now reached the 500 mils. So before we continue, we're going to want to check our priming bag to ensure that there's actually fluid up in the bag, which there is. If there wasn't, we might want to look for any leaks and then continue with rinse. But we're going to clamp for a little white clamp on the priming bag. We're going to unclamp the large arterial clamp and click start under the circulation heading and increase our pump speed to 400 mils per minute. So right now we're into programming our UF goal, so how much fluid we're removing, so 1,000 mils. There you go. Good opportunity for troubleshooting. You're going to press your question mark to find out what the possible issues are. So arterial pressure dome not inserted correctly. 
the dome looks like it's in there as far as it can be. Arterial bloodline not inserted into the occlusion clamp. So it looks like it is, but it might be a good idea just to open and close. See if it releases any pressure. Uh, it supports an arterial bloodline open. Doesn't look like there's any leakage. So once we troubleshoot it, we'll repeat the connection test. And it's come back up again. So heparin syringe. It looks like our syringe is inserted correctly. So let's repeat the connection test once more. Just for the sake of practice, we're going to let the machine alarm go away. Okay. So at this point, we're going to want to verify our other treatment parameters just to make sure that they match the doctor's prescription that has been ordered. So we're going to verify our prescribed sodium, our prescribed bicarbonate, we want the concentrate of the dialysate solution to match what is on our dialysate canister, which match the prescription as well. So here we have a K1, calcium 1.25. So we can see that that's been changed. We're we gonna want our autoflow set to yes with the HD factor 1.8. Uh, temperature 35.5. Okay. Um, we can go over to our heparin screen and we just want to make sure that the syringe matches our 20 mil syringe which is in there um, so the rate this will be different for everybody but we can just leave the rate as 1.1 we want the heparin start to say automatic but we do not want the auto bolus on and then we want to go to our blood pressure screen, BPM, and make sure that the interval is set for a minimum of 60 minutes. Okay. So we can go back to the pre-preparation screen and shut off our blood pump. Now we're going to want to clamp six clamps. So two on the priming bag. Two bloodline clamps, the saline tea, and we're going to want to move that roller clamp down to where it's easily accessible when you're on treatment and close the roller clamp. Now we can go ahead to central venous line connection. 